right, welcome into Casual Throw, episode two of Slightly Unstable or Get Off My Lawn Guy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this uh, episode, I want to tackle a couple of kind of related things. Uh, the first being the great relationship overall that there seems to be in the yo-yo community between the companies that produce things and the players. I've been involved in a number of hobbies over the years, uh, whether it was baseball cards or a variety of video games, and I can't say that in my experience I've seen anything close to the beneficial relationship between the players and the companies that we see in yo-yo, especially with the newer, younger, smaller, whatever, uh, yo-yo manufacturers and whatnot, and the players, whether that is you know, uh, seeking out feedback on yo-yos, getting input on redesigns or tweaks to yo-yos, things like that. Uh, looking at uh, Instagram and other social media, the activity uh, of the yo-yo manufacturers, string manufacturers, other companies in, you know, even just hitting a like button on players, uh, you know, videos, pictures, stuff like that. It's, you know, a, a nice small uh, gesture. And it's, it's nice to be involved in a community where it feels like the companies care. And I've been in hobbies where it doesn't seem at all like the companies care as long as they're making their, you know, their money. And I just feel like there is uh, certainly a, you know, the relationship goes both ways in terms of the benefits of yo-yo players and the companies where certainly you know when they sponsor players you know the players get free stuff uh, and then you know the players can speak well of the company there's benefits involved uh, with that that go both ways and everybody benefits so just got to say I absolutely love uh, how the companies in uh, yo-yo are responsive to the players proactive in supporting players and very just involved in the community great stuff all right and sort of a little bit of spin off of that my pet peeve if you will is players chasing sponsorships and sometimes dishonesty that surrounds that on the player side certainly uh, I'm not gonna throw anybody specifically uh, under the bus that's not why I'm here I think it's more of a, a, a general statement a general discussion that I want to have and that is uh, you know, I can't tell you how often I see on social media and whatnot, uh, younger players especially, uh, you know, clearly, obviously, openly, blatantly pursuing the sponsorships. It's kind of annoying, and it's kind of like, you know, just, just be great. Just do your videos, be really good, get better and better, cultivate a likable persona, perso personality. Don't come off as this sort of, you know, begging uh, for a sponsorship and that's being the end all be all uh, for you and whatnot just just play just be great uh, cultivate relationships with the companies and aren't obviously like you're trying to you know la latch on to them like a parasite or something like that it's just often you know some of the best things in life yeah you don't have to ask for and you know maybe consider that for the yo-yo sponsorship thing it's okay to want it absolutely okay just don't be obnoxious about it and just be good. And similarly, I mean, I've, I've heard and read people say similar things like that, but one of the most entertaining, mind-blowing, uh, frustrating sort of things I saw not that long ago was a player uh, got sponsored by a company, went up on the soapbox and was like, oh, you know, Sponsorships shouldn't be asked for and went on into this, you know, nice little monologue about getting sponsored and how humbling it is and all, you know, it's just not something that should be asked for and pursued, you know, openly or whatever. Just be great and it'll come to you. And the joke was that, you know, a lot of people in the community know that this individual was, you know, uh, chasing it and, you know, asking for it how do i make this happen and it was apparently a reoccurring thing i've heard through the great mind so it's just like that sort of dishonesty and hypocrisy don't be that person just if you want to be sponsored great chase it but do it in a way 
that has integrity, do it in a way that isn't going to make people look at you and just roll their eyes because, you know, this is a, you know, a hobby of a lot of grown men and a few women playing with children's toys, granted advanced children's toys. So to be in it, to be sponsored, to get free stuff, to make money, sure, I mean, that's, that'd be cool. I don't think anybody's going to say no to that. But to get into what is playing with a toy, you know, for those sorts of glory and profit and, you know, whatever. I don't know. That just seems kind of superficial to me. So that's my take anyway. All right. Well, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. That's cool. That's what a democracy is all about, right? Disagreeing and being able to talk about things. So let me know, of course, your... Uh, you know, things you'd like to see me take on in the future, things and discuss. I got a few ideas on the hopper, so we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks for watching.